Around the world, gigantic engineering and infrastructure projects are opening up or are closing in on their completion. So we surveyed some of the most impressive mega projects to find the most jaw dropping projects on Earth. Alem Entertainment Center. The largest Ferris wheel in an enclosed architectural design was presented in Ashgabat, Turkmenistan. The Ferris wheel measured 47.60 meters high and with a diameter of 57 meters. A large glass and white steel casing houses the Ferris wheel, which has 24 six seat cabins for Ferris wheel. The structure also houses the Alem Entertainment Center, which includes a bowling alley, cinema screens, a restaurant, and a planetarium. Created by the Turkmenistan government, the structure cost approximately $90 million, 57 million pounds, to build and was opened on Turkmenistan's Day of Revival, Unity, and Magdamli Poetry. The body of the structure housing the Ferris wheel is built in the shape of the eight-sided star of Oghuz Khan, a legendary Turkic Khan described as the progenitor of Turkmens, and is decorated in national motifs. The roundness of the building, which is topped by a 17-meter spire, lends it the appearance of a colossal sundial hovering above a massive pedestal. Stiletto Church as far as Christianity goes, Taiwan's congregation numbers are comparatively low. In fact, of the many beautiful religious sites in Taiwan, there are no significant Christian sites. However, is that all about to change? A local tourism official in Chiayi certainly thinks so and has a 17-meter high shoe-shaped church to back up that claim. As tourists drive into the fishing village of Budai, they see what can only be described as a giant blue high heel shoe on the horizon. There's simply no other way to describe this innovative, and rather 80s looking building. The shoe was inspired by a local story. According to officials in the 1960s, a 24 year old girl surnamed Wang from the impoverished region suffered from the Blackfoot disease. Both of her legs had to be amputated, leading to the cancellation of her wedding. She remained unmarried and spent the rest of her life at a church. The high heel is intended to honor her memory. Made with a steel frame, the building consists of 320 tinted glass panes that shimmer in the sun. The extraordinary structure cost a reported 760,000 US dollars which the local authorities hope to recoup in the rental fees from the many weddings and other ceremonies that have already started to take place there. It seems like a big gamble for such a small village, but if the interest generated is anything to go by, it's a gamble that's certainly looking like paying off. The Guangzhou Circle but when it comes to circular structures, China has weirder and more wonderful mega-projects to offer than just a physics-defying Ferris wheel. Located on the edge of the Pearl River, the 138-meter Guangzhou Circle was designed by Di Pasquale of Milan Studio AM Project to provide an iconic headquarters for Chinese companies Guangdong Hongda Xingye Group and GDP Guangdong Plastic Exchange. A circle with a 50-meter diameter punctures the heart of the 33-story structure, turning the building into a hollow circle. When reflected in the river, this shape becomes a figure of eight, a lucky number in Chinese culture. The front and rear walls of the building are clad with copper plates, while the curved sidewalls are broken down into glazed rectilinear boxes. Elevated gardens are located within the central void. The total height is 138 meters for 33 floors, 85.000 square meters of floor area, and about 50 million euros of global investment. The inner hole is a unique space that has no equal in the world with its almost 50 meters of diameter, 48 meters. The architectural concept intends to design a landmark building that will be immediately perceived as a native Chinese landmark building using a closed and central structure instead of the usual Western skyscraper stereotype. Therefore the architecture is fully defined, and iconic, very close to the Chinese way of perceiving and understanding. It's a sort of urban logo that works as a landmark in the same way that ideograms are used in Chinese writing, instead of the alphabet. The architectural concept is inspired by the strong iconic value of jade discs and the numerological tradition of Feng Shui. In particular, the double disc of jade, by disc, is the royal symbol of the ancient Chinese dynasty that reigned in this area around 2000 years ago. The building reflected in the water of the river creates the same image, a double jade disc. The Dubai Frame among the seven emirates, Dubai is the most popular among tourists. From being a deserted land consisting of just a few buildings back in the early 90s, today, it is known for its breathtaking skyscrapers, including the largest mall and the tallest building in the world. Dubai continues to push boundaries making the impossible possible, and this picture frame is no exception. Completed in 2018, the Dubai frame is in Zabil Park, in the heart of Dubai. This architectural landmark is yet another example of Dubai's unconventional planning, and it also represents the city's legacy by providing insights into the massive growth it has made in a short period. 
Go big or go home, this is the motto Dubai lives by, and the Dubai frame is a representation of it. Although not as tall as the Burj Khalifa, this golden picture frame is nearly 500 feet, 150 meters, tall, almost 200 feet taller than the Statue of Liberty. The attraction covers over 9,900 square meters, and almost 2,000 tons of solid steel were used to make what is the largest picture frame in the world today. The laminated glass panels cover 2,900 square meters, and the exterior of the Dubai frame shimmers from the golden cladding made of stainless steel paper, covering more than 15,000 square meters. The exterior design is covered in circles, representing the upcoming Expo 2020. The frame consists of 48 floors, which can be covered in 75 seconds by taking the lift, where you get to experience the panoramic view that the city has to offer. The main highlight is the sky deck which gives uninterrupted views of the entire city both old and new. An architectural landmark bridging Dubai's past, present, and future, the Dubai frame covered in gold cladding is located in Zabil Park. Dubai frame's rectangular design was inspired by the golden ratio of 1.618, which many architects and artists believe forms an ideal structural balance. China's Quarry Hotel When you approach the intercontinental Shanghai Wonderland Hotel from its driveway, you're greeted by a low-profile, two-story building with a grassy roof, it's hardly what you'd expect from a 336-room luxury hotel. That's because 16 of the hotel's 18 floors are beneath the Earth's surface. Wonderland is the first hotel in the world to be built underground, though it's not a subterranean dungeon as you might expect. It's built into the cliffs of a formerly abandoned quarry about 30 miles from Shanghai's city center, descending nearly 290 feet down to a lake at the bottom of the pit. The best view of the hotel is from, where you can visualize the hotel's undulating yin-yang shape, representing the balance between man and nature, between urban life and country life. Built by Studio Jade Plus QA in association with British firm Atkins, behind the Borj Al Arab Hotel in Dubai, the Pitt Hotel required innovative engineering solutions and more than 5,000 people to complete. While the architect was given no design restrictions from hotel ownership Al Group, Mother Nature had other plans in mind. The engineering team had to face several challenges presented with a subterranean project, when the concrete was sent down into the quarry via standard construction chutes. For instance, the materials separated and were unusable. The team ended up patenting more than 41 different engineering methods throughout the build. Just two lower floors are completely underwater, but it turns out the only thing deeper than this hotel were the pockets of its owners, Shimao Group, who spent an ungodly $288 million raising this creation from the deep. As a result, it took more than 12 years for the hotel to be constructed, with its doors officially opening in November 2018. The National Ignition Facility From the outside, this building may not look like much, but it contains a mega-project that quite literally defies physics. The National Ignition Facility is the world's largest and most energetic laser, designed to allow unprecedented experimental access to the physics of nuclear weapons and help maintain the U.S. nuclear deterrent without further underground testing. To make this a reality, construction began on the facility in 1997. It required an excavation of more than 5.6 million cubic feet of earth and almost 2 million cubic feet of concrete to be poured, but the crowning jewel of its construction was the placement of its 32 feet wide, 130 ton target chamber, and the point where all those super powerful laser beams would converge. The National Ignition Facility is the size of a sports stadium, three football fields could fit inside. The National Ignition Facility's unique energy and power enable cutting-edge research to help keep America safe and secure, explore new frontiers of science and lay the groundwork for a clean, sustainable source of energy. The National Ignition Facility is the world's most precise and reproducible laser system. It precisely guides, amplifies, reflects, and focuses 192 powerful laser beams into a target about the size of a pencil eraser in a few billionths of a second delivering more than 2 million joules of ultraviolet energy and 500 trillion watts of peak power. The National Ignition Facility generates temperatures in the target of more than 180 million degrees Fahrenheit and pressures of more than 100 billion Earth atmospheres. Those extreme conditions cause hydrogen atoms in the target to fuse and release energy in a controlled thermonuclear reaction. While they've yet to top this peak power performance, it's clear that this mega-project is helping point the way in the quest for clean energy. Which of these mega projects impressed you the most? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching.